What's up, board game people? Today we're here with something new, something a little different. My favorite use for YouTube and crowdfunding videos is to find new games that I didn't know about. I love to learn about campaigns and find new and interesting games that I might have otherwise missed. Sometimes these campaigns will be outside my usual comfort zone, but those can turn out to be some of the best games to try. I love experiencing new mechanics and learning about new themes or settings. And I also love finding out about campaigns well before they're out. It gives me more time to dig in, find more information, and make better decisions on if I want to buy or back. Today we're going to take a look forward to some campaigns that don't necessarily have a specific date set. These campaigns may never see the light of day, but they caught my eye, and I'll be following along with whatever information I can find on them as they develop. This is part one of a two-part video. I didn't want to make these ridiculously long, so I cut it in half. First off, I did not receive any money from any game companies for making these videos. All opinions are my own. My information may not be 100% correct, but I do my best to validate everything I put in my videos. If I get something wrong or we disagree, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like these type of games or board game crowdfunding videos in general, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell, and leaving us a like. It'll help our videos reach a larger audience and it's greatly appreciated. So these campaigns are in no particular order. Some may have a target quarter. Others may never see the light of day, but all of them have caught my interest and I wanted to let you know about them. If you know something about the campaigns that I don't mention, let me know in the comments. I'd love to learn more. First up, let's start off with one that newly has a launch date. Silvercoin Age of Monster Hunters has been ramping up their advertisement and kicking the hype machine into full gear. This campaign will be launching on July 19th on Kickstarter. That was announced today. The game itself is a fairly typical adventure game with a healthy dash of Euro game mechanics and what sounds like an effective card drafting element. You're a monster hunter taking on contracts from the six kingdoms of the land. You can investigate and learn more about your quarry, spend your victory points in the form of coins to equip yourself with magic and weapons, and defeat the monsters to complete your contract and earn even more coin. There are two things that really jump out for me about this game. First is the similarity to the setting and themes of the Witcher series. This could have easily been a Witcher game with very few changes. Besides that, and more impactful, is the variety of monsters that you'll be facing off against. They're boasting 30 to start with, each interacting with you in different ways and demanding different tactics to defeat. They send out a monthly newsletter of all kinds of great information about the game, and you can view past newsletters on their website linked in the description below. Next, let's take a look at a game that has no signs of when it will launch. Quantum Shock has been on my list for quite some time, and sadly I haven't seen too many signs of life. They did post a lovely Happy New Year's post about this game stating this is the year of Quantum Shock, so I expect I'll be seeing it hit Kickstarter sometime this year? Quantum Shock is a sci-fi horror board game for 1-4 to four players featuring a powerful narrative campaign. Players have been transported to a different dimension where they can use skills to manipulate time and adjust the timeline of the campaign. Set to be a 10 episode long campaign covering between 15 and 20 hours, the players must manipulate time and escape back to their own dimension. The miniatures and artwork for this campaign are out of this world. The really interesting thing about this game is that it's being developed by a company that's better known for development of VR games. It should be interesting to learn more about once it finally hits Kickstarter. Up next is one that may be firmly in the wishful category now, but I'd still love to see this return to crowdfunding and make it to my table. Obscure War launched on Kickstarter a bit prematurely and did not get the response that the creators were hoping for. They canceled the campaign and decided to relaunch the game at a later time after building more of a community and a better marketing campaign around the game. Looking at their original page, the game looks fantastically themed and the miniatures are interesting with dynamic poses and great sculpts. They just need a little more meat to the project before launching. Sadly, looking through the website, nothing has been updated in quite some time, and the social media links on the site mostly go to closed accounts. They said they were going to be working on building a community through game conventions, so I guess we'll have to wait to see if it's spotted in the wild at some point. Let's look at a game we know is coming and even has a target month. In October, on GameFound, Chip3 Games plans to launch The Elder Scrolls Betrayal of the Second Era. This game, like Elder Scrolls Online, is based on the entire continent of Tamriel and will allow players to explore a massive overland map. The game features deep character customization, exploration, dungeons, and combat. The game will be played in three session campaigns, allowing you to create new characters and discover more of the story with each new campaign. 
Betrayal of the Second Era is set in the events of the plane meld as the Order of the Black Worm plots to secure the Amulet of Kings, and one of their members attempts to tie Tamriel to the Oblivion forever. CTG has stated that this is their most ambitious project to date, and this will be one of the first CTG games that I will have had a chance to play and back. I've been interested in many of their past titles, but the campaigns never come at a good time for me. This is one I won't miss. So, I've kind of developed an unhealthy attraction to board games from OOMM Games or OOM Games. Their art style and take on cooperative survival and creation mixed with emergent storytelling just strikes a golden chord with me. So, of course, their next game is squarely on my radar. Stone Saga is a cooperative, multi-generational survival game where you'll guide a tribe of characters living in a remote glacial valley through harsh conditions, wondrous mysteries, and against giant monsters. The story from this game will unfold over an epoch. You'll craft, build, explore, and discover secrets of the valley in a bid to lead your tribe from just surviving to thriving. The crafting component especially interests me as it works off of discovery. A sharpened stone could combine with a stick to create a spear, but you won't know until you try. Materials have properties that you'll learn of and increase your recipe knowledge. This game shouldn't be too far off on the horizon, and it will likely come to Kickstarter sometime this year. Sea of Legends Vengeance of the Empires is scheduled to launch sometime this summer, and is something that lies just on the edge of my interests. For me, it's the theme, coupled with intriguing potential that's drawn me towards this game. The initial launch of Sea of Legends was fraught with some sore feelings and missed promises. The app supporting the game failed to deliver on promises and a lot of good faith was lost. What I commend is the studio continued to work on the problems, continued improving the application, and while the application isn't perfect now, it's in a much better state and finally fixable state. I have a distinct lack of pirate games in my collection, and there's this huge lack of great narrative campaign pirate games in the industry. I'm hoping this will offer me a chance to let my Jolly Roger fly, explore the open seas, and become the most feared captain in the land. This is a project I'll be looking at with cautious optimism. It has great potential, but it could also sink just as fast. So the next one is a game I can't say I'm 100% excited and drooling over. Rather, I'm interested to learn a bit more and see what the game actually looks like when the campaign is launched. I'm talking about The Pit. You may have seen this on a Facebook advertisement. That's where I saw it. And at first, I thought it was a meme. This guy standing over the game board, glaring menacingly over the tabletop, looks like he just finished a total party knockout and is wondering where all his friends ran off to. Joking aside, this game might have some potential, and that's why it's on this list. It looks like it'll be a deck building game, or at least cards combined with dice combat and miniatures. It appears to be what some would term as PvPVE. So you're facing off against other players and NPC enemies at the same time to dominate the pit. There's very little solid information available about the game, other than a short YouTube shot that I'm guessing is their campaign video. I'll keep an eye on this one and I'll report back if there's anything to see. From one I don't have the highest hopes for to one I'd really love to know more about. Let's talk about Project Rove from 8 Games. Now, both of those names might not be familiar to you. You're completely excused if you have no clue what I'm talking about. Let's start with 8 Games. 8 Games was created after seeing the success they experienced creating one of the largest fan-made expansions ever made, the Crimson Scales for Gloomhaven. Now they're turning the experience they garnered and the connections they've made to make a game of their own. Project Rove is, I'm guessing, the working title for that game. Project Rove will be a new immersive big box fantasy game for one to four players set in a wild and foreign universe. Players will adventure through the campaign as they unlock new classes, fighting their way for survival throughout the wilderness in strategic turn-based gameplay. Not much more is known right now but they're hoping to launch a crowdfunding campaign in late 2022 to bring this beast to life. This is one I'll be following closely and will be sure to update you on as new information emerges. And now the last upcoming campaign for part one. I saved this spot for a game that I'm extremely excited for. Cloaked in the mystery of a short teaser, Orange Nebula has announced their next game, stating that it was the game they were born to create, Spiritfire. That's quite a lofty statement from a developer I have mad respect for, so I expect to see amazing results. They've proven with Unsettled that they can produce a top quality game and even support it after launch with more content and mechanical additions. Not much is known about Spiritfire. The teaser speaks of the lies and the unfulfilled tales that have been told around campfires for the benefit of those willing to listen to the boast. 
The narrator speaks of the fire that burns within you, awaiting to emerge either controlled or savagely and set you upon a saga worth living. The wonderfully illustrated map that is shown in the background of the teaser hints at an overland map and a fantasy setting. The exposition of the narrator speaking of something greater than battles with steel barely survived leads me to believe that spirit fire will be some sort of magic. So if that's the gist, what would set this apart from everything else I regularly drool over? Well, I did find one more speck of information that gives it all a nice bow on top. There will be pets. Okay, that wasn't all. They've been drip-feeding information, and they dropped a description that speaks volumes. Spiritfire is an ongoing, go-at-your-own-pace RPG board game journey that offers limitless realms of exploration, where every item, ability, encounter, creature, and character is unique. It provides extensive character development, gathering and crafting systems, customizable disciplines and techniques, and an innovative resource mechanism, and the absence of combat. Honestly, a combatless exploration-based game may be just the thing for me. This has rocketed to my number three spot for this year behind Kingdoms Forlorn and one more upcoming campaign we'll talk about in part two. So folks, that's it. I wanted to do all of these in one video, but for the sake of time, I split it in two. I'll have at least 10 more campaigns to cover in the next part that will be released sometime very soon. If you like this kind of board game content and you want to stay up to date with all of the most recent news and happenings in the hobby, please hit that subscribe button and the like button and join us in this journey. Thanks for watching and remember to play something fun tonight.